हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स फ्रॉम द चैप्टर सॉलिड लिक्विड्स एंड गैसेस दिस इज चैप्टर नंबर फाइव फ्रॉम योर टेक्स्ट बुक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एम सी क्यूज एंड ऑल द ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड डिस्क्रिप्टिव टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर सो लेट इज इमीजिएटली स्टार्ट फर्स्ट इज टिक द करेक्ट आंसर and in that the first question is which of the following is a physical change and what are the options melting of butter rusting of iron burning of paper changing of wheat to bread so what is the correct answer in this correct answer is melting of butter because rest of the options if you see carefully rusting of iron is a chemical change burning of paper is also chemical change and changing of wheat to bread is also a chemical change in this list only option a is a physical change because it does not change internally the internal structure of the butter doesn't change when it melts it is not a chemical change it is a physical change so option a is correct second question milk turning sour is a options physical change reversible change chemical change none of this milk turning sour is a chemical change okay third question dash and salt are soluble in water option a sugar option b chalk option c sand and option d is kerosene so what is soluble in water along with the salt right sugar is soluble in water so sugar and salt are soluble in water option a is correct fourth question in ice the water molecules are or can dash and what are the options stuck together very close to each other move freely around and move very fast so what is the correct answer stuck together they are stuck together they are very much in contact with each other okay since it is a solid state let us see next question the gas that bubbles out of an aerated drink is dash nitrogen oxygen hydrogen carbon dioxide so gas that bubbles out of aerated drink is carbon dioxide okay it is this gas that comes out from a aerated drinks because they generally when they make this aerated drink they dissolve or forcefully dissolve carbon dioxide under pressure into the into the liquid okay and when that lid is opened of the bottle when you open that lid of the bottle there is sudden release of pressure okay and because of that when you reduce the pressure that carbon dioxide that is forcefully dissolved in the liquid it emerges out okay and it starts bubbling next match the following so in column a you have matter molecule gas soluble in water solid and liquid while in column b you have has a definite shape and volume has no definite shape but a definite volume then option c is sugar attraction between molecule is the list is the next that is d option then anything that takes up space and has weight is e option and f option is smallest unit of substance so you have to check which one matches with the column a so matter if you see is anything that takes up space and has weight okay so here e is correct it matches with one then molecule molecule is what it is a smallest unit of the substance so f if you see smallest unit of substance it matches with two then third is gas gas matches with attraction between molecules is list so d should go with 3 soluble in water sugar so c matches with 4 and solid has definite shape and volume so a matches with 5 and liquid if you see liquid has uh, no definite shape but a definite volume so 6 and b matches each other b should go with 6 okay so let us see now whether we were correct or not okay so matter anything that takes up space and has weight we are correct then second is molecule molecule f smallest unit of substance so we are correct then gas 
attraction between molecule is the list so here also we are correct soluble in water sugar so this was also we had guessed it right solid has a definite shape and volume yes we are right here also and liquid has no definite shape but definite volume so all the guesses all the um, guesswork that we had done uh, in the match the following was correct okay because we already we had read the lesson okay so everyone you should read the lesson and then try to attend the exercise you will be easily able to attempt all the answers okay next write short answer what is matter here you will write matter is anything that occupies space and has weight okay then second question water molecules here you will write a molecule is the smallest unit of a substance that has all the properties of that substance then third question what are molecules made up of here you will write molecules are made up of atoms fourth question name any two solids two liquids and two gases that can dissolve in water so solids you can write sugar and salt liquids you can write glycerin alcohol and gases you can write oxygen ammonia all these examples are very readily soluble in water they easily dissolve in water fifth is answer these questions okay these are the long answers in that first one is why do solids have fixed shape here you will write in solid molecules are very close to each other they attract each other with great force of attraction and the last point you will write so a solid is hard rigid and definite shape and volume okay then second question why do liquids flow here you will write in liquids molecules are less closely packed the attraction between molecules in liquid is less compared to solids molecules can move freely around okay and last point you will write that is why liquids can flow because there is lesser attraction third question write two differences between liquids and gases here you will write in liquid column you will write liquids have fixed volume in gases you will write gases have no fixed volume then in liquids you will write molecules in liquid move slower than molecules in gases while in gases you will write molecule in gases move faster than those in liquids isn't it easy very simple reasons you can use to differentiate between liquids and gases fourth question when do we say that liquids are miscible here you will write when liquid dissolve in water they are called miscible for example alcohol alcohol is miscible in water as it get dissolved in water let us see next question what is physical change give two examples here you will write a physical change is a temporary change which can be reversed in this change there is only change in the state of matter the change is temporary and can easily be reversed and then you will mention two examples so ice melting to water or water vapor condensing into liquid water these are the examples of the physical change where there is merely a change in the state which can easily be reversed then sixth question what is chemical change give two examples here you will write in a chemical change heating or cooling results in the permanent change in the state of matter and then you will write a new substance is formed and we cannot get back the old substance so after you form the new substance out of chemical change you cannot reverse it and convert it into old substance okay and then you will mention example for example when piece of paper is burnt it changes into ash can you change ash into paper not possible second milk turning into curd so curdling of the milk is also chemical change you cannot turn curd back into the milk so let us see the last question for the day seventh question give three characteristic features of chemical change here you will write chemical changes are permanent okay cannot be reversed and result in the formation of new substance so see, these are the three main characteristics of the chemical change they are permanent cannot be reversed and it results in the formation of new substance because there is change in the internal structure of the substance okay student so that was all from my side thank you for attending this session see you during next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye